Welcome to the Diesel Laptops Connection Tips Training Module. In this training module, we're going to try to help alleviate some of the connection issues that you may have, also as well as any questions. So for an example, we're going to choose heavy duty and bus. We're going to select a Volvo chassis. And we're going to select a Volvo engine. From here, we're going to choose a OBD2 16-pin 2015 year model. Now once we scroll down and click on the diesel injection tab, you'll notice that we have three different options. You'll also notice that there's no EPA breakdown or CAN protocol breakdown. This is indicating to the operator that all three of these modules are in fact present on the vehicle. So it's important that we know what each module does and what functions it has so we can know where to go for each particular test or information that we need to view. So we're going to start with the engine management. Once connected, we'll be at the fault screen. Here you'll notice the fault codes we have present. When we go to the parameters tab, notice that there's 108 parameters available. Now we're going to jump to the activations tab and show you some of the testing under this module. We have after treatment fuel injector dosing tests, compression tests, after treatment diagnostic active tests. We have cylinder balancing, EGR valve, air clearing, and selective catalyst reduction NOx conversion monitoring. Now let's go to the settings tab. Here you'll see we have the particulate filter regeneration. We can reset parameters, perform injector coating, and we have an SCR catalyst regeneration. Now let's exit out of the self-diagnosis and let's go into the ACM module. Now that we're connected to the ACM module, notice that we also have faults in this module. The other things that are important to pay attention to is once we go to the parameters tab, you'll notice that we only have 67 total parameters, all of which are related to after treatment function. We also don't have a settings tab but we do have an activations tab under this module. Once under the activation tests, you'll notice that we have an add blue dosing test extended and reduced. We have some retarder control valve options and we have some SCR diagnostic tests. It's important to note that anytime you're investigating a particular issue, that you go through each individual module located under that specific module selection. Now we're going to go under the Engine Management Special Parameterizations module. Once we're connected to this module, you notice we only have three tabs, Parameters, ECU Info, and Settings. We also only have 20 total parameters. Now let's take a look at the settings. Here you'll find a completely different list of settings than we had in the other two modules. So now you've seen that there's three separate modules that all perform different functions but are all located within the diesel injection tab. Here's another example. We use a Freightliner with a DD13. So we'll choose Freightliner chassis. We'll choose a Detroit diesel engine, and we'll choose diesel injection. Here we have multiple selections, but notice two of these are the same EPA, and they both have different descriptions. Both of these are also labeled MBE. So first we'll start with the engine management system.
Notice here that we have no faults detected. If we go to the parameters tab, you'll see that we have a total of 199 parameters. I'll quickly scroll through the list so you can see the type of parameters involved in this module. Notice that these are all upstream engine parameters. Now let's go to the activations tab. Here we have a cylinder cutoff test, a fuel metering stick test, and multiple upstream engine tests, as well as a few after treatment tests. The next tab we'll go to is the settings tab. Here you notice our settings tab is pretty limited. We do have injector coating, we do have maximum vehicle speed, and parked regeneration, as well as a few others. We also have the reset ash and SCR accumulators. Now let's get out of this module and let's go into the second module. Here we're going to go into the SCR selective catalytic reduction module. You'll notice we have no faults in this module either. When clicking on the parameters tab, we have 168 total parameters. As we scroll through the list, you'll notice that most of these have to deal with after treatment. Now let's jump into the activations tab. Here you'll see we have a complete different list of activations. And then finally the settings tab, with the only option being ECU settings. So in closing, it's important to note that you may have multiple modules and multiple fault codes and tests and parameters within each one, so all must be investigated. Thank you for joining us and please proceed to the next module.